good Friday morning. We would have left earlier than this, but it was, it's only 51 degrees now. It was really cold earlier. Uh, I think I got down to 40 last night, 39, 40. I didn't even have my window open. I was going to try to do a crack and I could not because I was freezing my tukas off. But we are going to the last fair of the season. Uh, it's about an hour away. It's always the one we look forward to going to. Uh, today's Veterans Day. So Dad always likes going on Veterans Day. Um, so that's what we're going to do. This is called the St. Joseph. I just call it the Centerville Fair because it's in Centerville, Michigan. Uh, so yeah. That is what we're doing. And I have my thermal on layered with my t-shirt because, you know, chilly, chilly willy. So, yeah. Just got showered, cleaned up, dressed, ready to rock and roll. I do have to go to the bank and make a deposit, mail a couple things, and then we'll hit the rope. So yeah, see you at the fair. We're at the fair. Rides don't start for a few hours. I got me a, a grape smoothie. Ooh. And now I'm getting ready to go down towards commercial bars. I'll be going that way. We're in a horse barn. Everybody's got their butts towards me. Okay. Oh, he's gonna turn around. Maybe. Hello there. But another butt. Nobody's in here. Head back out. Goes watching me. Like, what are you? Hi, goat. I don't know what your name is, but hi. Oh, here's one up here. I will poke his nose. Oh, no. He's like, no, you don't poke my nose. Here, one come see me. No? Okay. Stranger danger. I understand. Stranger danger. Hi. Hi, little goats. Oh, these guys are all pure snuggling. Wait, you'll see them. They're so cute. It's like a pile of goats. It's just a pile of goats. Eat. What? What are you doing? Hi. I got to poke your nose. You let me poke your nose. My first nose poke of the day. <laughs> Hi, dear. Hi. Hi. You're going to try to eat my... You can't eat my shirt. No, you can't eat it. It's not edible. I know. I know. You want to try. Oh, he just snotted on me. That was not very nice. <laughs> he wants to eat my shirt. <laughs> oh, they're pretty. Oh, so cute. Oh, look at the big guy over there. All right. Hi, dear. Hi. Okay, we're going to go out this end. Now we've come over to the sheep. Oh, here's one. Maybe he'll let me poke his nose. Hi, there. <laughs> no, you're... Whoa. Someone's got a sneezy cough over here. You've got a coat. Are you okay? Bless you. Hi. Hi there. Hi there. Oh. You look like you have a little wig on. This one's the one that was just sneezing. Sneezy cough. Okay. Now we're going to go out this end. Now we have some turkeys. Hi there. You guys are pretty quiet. Yeah. Let's see. Hi there. Oh, I gotta go find the rabbits. I'm just gonna drink. Okay, out I go. This is a fair that has a little outside thing with a little pond for some of the birds. But now we're going this way. Now we're in the still exhibits. It's a dress made out of cards and bottle caps. Huh. Interesting. Oh, someone made a whole little farm. I see Hank doing that. Not so much Avery anymore, but Hank, he's still the farm boy. Oh, someone did the Millennium Falcon. Probably one of those kits. Oh, that's a pretty cabinet. More woodworking. 
can go down the other side. Here's Dad having his favorite snack at the fair. What is it? French fries. French fries. I got my food to take home, and he's got him an Italian sausage to take home. We're getting ready to go in here in a little bit. I just made it out to the van. I just I got me a milk tea. I've never had one before. This is caramel milk tea with coffee uh, jelly. Man, those jellies shoot right in your throat and want to choke you. <laughs> They're good though. Mmm, that's good. Mm. On the way in, when we got here a few hours ago, I got a grape smoothie. And on the way out, I said, stop back on the way out. I've never tried a milk tea and I want to try one. So that was my buy on the way out. The lady in the golf cart went down to get dad at the entrance down the road. So just waiting for him at the van. Took my thermal off. It's up to, I can't tell, the door is open in the back, so I can't look at on my screen, but it's uh, probably in the 60s now. So the sun beating down was, uh, and he wanted my thermal off, so I shoved it in the back seat. Now, more bubble tea. Or milk tea. It's so good. Refreshing. I like it. But now we're going to leave the fair. We were here for two hours. Usually it's between two and three hours at the fair. But okay, bye. Got an itchy on the side of my head right when I hit record. Um, it's evening time. Dad just went to go play. Oh, no, Friday. He went to go play cards. Friday, cards night. Um, I didn't eat anything at the fair because I did have a couple of Dad's fries, but not very many because I did not want to push my luck uh, with anything deep fried. Um, he brought home himself. An Italian sausage thing with uh, onions and peppers he's going to eat tonight because he was not hungry before he left because he ate the majority of a large french fry. Nothing was big. And then I brought home, I'll turn you around, hang on. Pa -pow! I brought home in this one, these are like two little pork shanks. I'm going to cut some meat off of that. And then in this one is a veggie dinner from the steak tip place which is just potatoes, onions, and mushrooms. So I'm gonna take some of them out too. So I'm gonna make me a plate for dinner. Now we're getting ready to watch Big Brother. Here's my dinner, some of that pork, some veggies. They've all become friends. And for dessert, some grapes and a blueberry yogurt. Woo woo, Friday night dinner, yeah y'all. I'm going to try tomorrow morning go to the farmer's market, but I'm not 100% sure yet. i got to see if my scooter charges. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, bye. Saturday. It's morning time. We're heading over to the Legion. They have breakfast. They're having breakfast this morning. So, I'll get pancakes, scrambled eggs, and sausage. That's what they have with a glass of orange juice for $8. Um, and then we're going to come back to town, check my scooter, see if it charged last night. Uh, and I might load it up and bring it downtown to go to the farmer's market and look at some of the scarecrows. But we'll see what happens. Because I was having trouble with my scooter yesterday. It's eight years old. It's getting older, so I don't know what's happening. But yeah, we might end up driving out Red Bud out by the motocross because I see the 15 million people out there. I haven't driven by there since everybody started showing up. Uh, I've heard that a couple of the like team... Italy and team Germany. I don't know. There's a few of the teams in town looking at some of the decorations and a guy who has like his, his yard decorated for Halloween and they were there filming some and uh, looking at the things and so yeah. But alright, bye. There's dad getting his ready. This is our breakfast and orange juice. Yep. Now we're going to eat. Nope, I don't want video. Well, no cruising around town on my scooter filming scarecrows or going to the farmer's market. My scooter, I think, has officially died. It won't keep a charge. It keeps blinking. It won't. It's eight years old. I mean, I know the last few times I've driven it, it's been a little wonky and weird. And then yesterday at the fair, I'm like, oh, man, I think it's dying. And then today, Dad's like, well, I charged it overnight. I'm like, Dad... Just because you charged it doesn't mean it charged to me. Went and got on it and, uh, yeah, it was still down in the red. <laughs> so, 
Monday we're gonna go looking for scooters locally, well, somewhere around, and then we'll see what happens. Yeah, bummer. I very rarely ever film while I'm laying in bed. But here I am. It is Saturday evening. I just, I'm glad I didn't film it because it was a dud. I filmed a home chef, I mean, I made a home chef kit. It was the barbecue cheeseburger chili or something. Neither dad nor I liked it at all. We took, we each took a couple bites. I think I took three or four bites and I'm like, nope. And dad's like, I agree. So we poured it in. I mean, it did not taste good. We poured it into a Ziploc bag and threw it away. <laughs> That's the first dud I think I've ever gotten from them. But um, it was not good. But those few bites filled me up some good for the evening. <laughs> Dad left. He went to go take a ride. I think he's taking something to his niece. And he's like, do you want a burger or something? I might get a burger while I'm gone. I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> so, and then breakfast this morning. Next time we're going to get one and share it because it was just way too much. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. And Kitty wasn't up here. She left sometime, probably in the middle of the night, left my room. The kitchen door is open so she can wander. And I hadn't seen her, hadn't seen her. So after we ate, I yelled, I'm like, Kitty, 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 Kitty. Here she comes running. I want to hear you, Mama. And then I gave her some treats. And she, because she begged, she's like, meow, 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 give me some treats. And so as soon as I gave her treats, she's like, peace out. <laughs> Went back downstairs. Uh-huh. So, yeah. But now, I'll be back tomorrow. For Sunday. Bye. Happy Sunday! It's a gloomy, drizzly day. But at least it's not pouring. Because all those people from high squirrel. There really is a squirrel. Um, for all, all over the world are out there at the motocross and today are the finals. There's the last three races. One starts in an hour and when that one's done it goes to the next one and then goes to the next one uh, and then they do podium stuff like I think the last race starts at four so the podium stuff will be this evening so hopefully from what my phone is saying this rain is supposed to let up is it's supposed to be cloudy for the afternoon and then rain's supposed to come back about four or five so hopefully they can get the rain the races done before rain comes the last time they were here it rained all weekend it was just a mess dad heard ronnie go by a little while ago beeping we're like ah because <laughs> uh they have to go to the town next to us to dump waste because our town here would not allow them to they don't allow at one time they were letting us dump and then they changed their rules and they don't want septic people to dump here in town. So yeah, it makes it a little uh, cumbersome, but what can you do? Well, we're going to take a ride by the racetrack because we're going to be going north. We're going to go to Martin Supermarket. Because I told Dad last night, I'm like, Dad, we have that bag of potatoes. I can make a big batch of mashed potatoes and we can do a, a crock pot full of sauerkraut and sauce. And she goes, oh, we're going to do that. So this week, so we got to go buy sauerkraut and sausage to put on this week. So yeah. And sauerkraut's supposed to be good for your gut, they say. So that's what's happening this dreary Sunday. I got, well, I did billing yesterday, but I haven't charged credit cards or emailed paid receipts and invoices. So that part of it will be today. A little later this afternoon, I'll watch some sort of podcast and do some work. But I'm going to shut up now. Bye. We have made it into the store. I got some grapes and some sweet potatoes so far. I wonder how much their acorn squash are. They have no signs up. We usually get those at local stands anyway for like a buck or two each. Oh, the misters just came on like they always do when I seem to drive by them. So pretty. I love me some produce. Yeah, they're everybody. This is the motocross. They're all racing right up there. Yeah. There are people everywhere. Hey, hey. Hundred thousand people. Yeah. Okay, now I gotta go back to driving.
home from the grocery. Here's a quick rundown. We got some Honeycrisp, some grapes. I got me a can of Pringles. Yeah, I got himself three donuts. I think of a man which, uh, a couple things of kraut, some sausage to put in said kraut, some sweet potatoes. Dad got himself a couple, he got collard greens and black eyed peas. I gotta put all the weight in. 